Right, new leadership is in command on some of the fires burning in the Willamette National Forest. Coordinating firefighters, equipment, and all the resources needed to get things under control. Thank you for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Matt Templeman. In our Firewatch coverage tonight, KZI 9 News reporter Albert James shows us why the incident management team already handling the Oak Ridge Lightning Complex is now taking on two more fires and what it means for firefighting efforts. In order to understand what it means for one incident management team to take on more fires, it's important to know what an incident management team actually does. We come together to, to help out whatever community or communities need us. Um, so in this case, we, what we do is we take the weight off the local forest and manage an incident so it doesn't affect uh, their ability to respond to other incidences. Justin Conrad is an incident commander trainee with the Rocky Mountain Incident Management Team 1. Since late July, the team has been helping the hundreds of firefighters battling the Oak Ridge Lightning Complex, providing support with planning, supplies, and general oversight. Now, they're going to do the same for the Ore Fire north of Blue River and the Pyramid Fire east of Sweet Home. They'll send logistics and operation personnel to support crews at those fires, but they aren't changing any strategies already put in place. We will not be uh, moving resources off those fires and, until we're comfortable that they're, they're contained and they're not going to move. Conrad says the switch comes as the incident management teams on those two fires have timed out. Hitting a limit of 14 days, they can spend assigned to a fire before resting for a few days. The Rocky Mountain team has extended their assignment and is ready to take on the extra fires. Even though they're spread out over three ranger districts, uh, we have the depth in our organization to be able to manage them. We're able to branch out and, and send operational people amongst others uh, to these fires to be in person to oversee the, the operations of the incident. Conrad tells me as firefighting resources continue to be stretched thin across the country, firefighter well-being continues to be a top priority. Coming up on KZI 9 News at 5, hear about the rules and resources in place to keep firefighters healthy and ready to respond to blazes all across the country. Reporting in Oak Ridge, Albert James, KZI 9 News.